She's over the bridge. The cab is hanging over the river. Won't forget this, the dramatic video from Kentucky, a rescue operation a few days ago. Well, today, the Louisville firefighter, Bryce Carden, coming off a whirlwind weekend after that dramatic rescue on Friday, a crash sending a truck over a bridge between Kentucky and Indiana with the driver still inside the cab. A once in a lifetime rescue, as his chief put it, Brooke Hash from our sister station in Louisville sat down with Cardin and he's ready to go back to just being a firefighter. So uh, it's been a wild few days. <laughs> Last week, the world watched this dramatic rescue in a semi truck going through the guardrail dangling off Louisville's Clark Memorial Bridge. My phone has finally stopped uh, ringing and, and calmed down just a little bit. Firefighter Bryce Carden. It's Bryce Carden. This 29 year old Bryce Carden. He just happened to be in position Friday for the rescue that captured the nation. I had to get my mind right that I was going to be the guy to go down. So and Captain Wren trusted me to do it. Strapped to a rope, anchored by a ladder truck, dangling 100 feet over the Ohio River. Rope rescues are not fast, you know, and for us to get it done as quick as we did, it just shows how efficient we really are. That's Cardin handing a harness to the driver of this Cisco truck, Sydney Thomas, who was still strapped into her seatbelt. You know, that slow motion feeling of like, I need a pocket knife, and I looked down and it just happened to be in my pocket, and I was like, thank God, you know, like, that saved the whole rescue. First responders waited from above and below. And I was like, are you praying, woman? And I, she was like, yeah, I pray. And I was like, all right, well, let's pray together. Anything was possible. You got to think she's still in the 18 wheeler and I'm attached to her. So we would have been had we would have went down with the 18 wheeler. Then came the moment Thomas was lifted out of the cab. Whenever she transitioned over to my harness, her foot was still on the on the brake. So when she let off the brake, it let out, you know how air brakes work, psh, it makes a big loud noise. I think everybody's heart dropped on scene for a minute. He can, Colonel can attest, he's back there shaking his head. So uh, that's, that's definitely something that we were all like, oh man, like, yeah, it, it gave us a little bit of a scare. They weren't the only ones. Cardin's wife was home with the baby watching this unfold in real time like the rest of us. Cardin had sent her a text saying he was headed to the scene. I said, uh, there's a semi over the bridge, here we go. Before forgetting his phone at the firehouse. She was watching it live, not knowing it was me. And literally as I got down to the victim, they text her, she's feeding our 16 month old daughter. And she said that she about just dropped the bottle. She was like, oh my God, you know. Then a collective sigh of relief as both Carden and Thomas were lowered onto the bridge. It's not one person that makes the department. You know, it's, we all come together, co together collectively to run as a well-oiled machine. And that's what we do, you know. I mean, it takes a lot of courage, but like I said, we're here to serve the people. And if we had a, another run come out for a car dangling off the bridge, we'd do it again tomorrow and probably would do it exactly the same way because it went well. It was a big puzzle and I was just a small piece. I'm proud to be on this department.